Yeah. What's up, Brooks? Welcome back to All the Castles. The show where we visit all the castles in the UK. Today we're here at Beetham Hall and a um, quite substantial one latching onto the side of this building here. Um, it. Well, Dad, Dad will know more about it than me, I don't know. True. Hello. Well, this is Beetham Hall. It's on private land, so I believe the owners are not unsympathetic to people looking around it, but I couldn't work out a way to get in touch with them. I didn't want to just turn up on the doorstep. It is part of a working farm, which also has its own crematorium. If you want uh, to bury your loved ones out in a beautiful spot, the medieval part, this tower that you can see, is uh, dates from the late 14th century, and it is in pretty good nick apparently. And um, the, it contains the remains of the Great Hall as a, a good uh, fireplace and some 14th century windows and the remains of a chapel. You can see the, the piscina still in the wall. Uh, it was owned by the de Betham family up to 1485, and that date might give you a clue as to what happened to them, because uh, the de Betham's sided with Richard III, so after the Battle of Bosworth, uh, Henry VII confiscated the property, and guess who he gave it to? The Stanleys. Oh, so this is no. another Stanley stolen property, if you like. Uh, but uh, it's worth it. There's a nice footpath runs uh, not too far from the property. That's where we're filming from. And uh, if we ever do get the opportunity to look at it in uh, more detail, we'll come back and do a revised video. Hello. We're here at uh, Yanworth Hall, or near about. It, it is a private house, so we don't want to get too close. Uh, down a cul-de-sac access lane, but it doesn't appear to be too much stopping us here. Um, this was built in 1322 by John de Sutton, and uh, the Peel Tower the lowest part is the oldest part. Uh, it was the top, the higher part was added to a century later. And the hall that you can see uh, stretching away from the tower, that's mainly Elizabethan. Um, oh, actually, no, I'm telling a lie, it's actually from the 15th century, so we predates the Elizabethan times, but some of the windows are more Elizabethan than medieval. And the house was originally uh, owned by the de Suttons, but then went through the Threlkeld family, and then eventually ended up in the hands of the Dudley family of Elizabeth the first time, until 17 sorry 1671 when it was uh, built when it was bought by oh, I'm stumbling here aren't I when it was acquired by the Lowthers and it was the birthplace of Thomas Wilkinson who was a friend of Wordsworth and actually had a poem dedicated to him it's actually one of the best preserved Peel Towers uh, in the area and it's a pity really that you can't uh, get inside and see the hall which uh, apparently is in a very good state of preservation. Despite that it does need some work and at the time of filming there's a rather controversial planning application because Lowther Estates who own the building have said they need the income from a new housing development at Clifton in order to make restoring the hall viable. So, which mm, doesn't sit very well with the local residents who don't want uh, 
the application in Clifton, the one well, the development in Clifton Village, and it's hard to see why it's so connected to the fortunes of Yanworth Hall. But uh, it's a lovely building. It's rather a pity to be surrounded by these modern uh, farm buildings, and it's also very close to the West Coast Main Line, which you can see uh, behind us. So they have. Uh, big trains thundering through at uh, all hours of the day and there's a good view towards the northern lake district you can see Blencathra and uh, Little Mel Fell and uh, I'm guessing that's Long Scale Fell uh. and now viewers you are going to see the shortest video in this series history Get on with it, Dad. Okay, we're here in uh, at Clyburn Farm in Cumbria, southeast of Penrith. And can you see that building with the TV aerial on the <laughs> roof? That was originally built in 1387 by Robert de Clyburn and then altered in 1567 by Richard Clyburn. Then in 1872, they took the original roof off, so it didn't look like a, any sort of castle anymore. It was, if you like, decrenolated. And uh, um, turned into an ordinary looking house, really. And unfortunately, they've since built these uh, outbuildings in front of it so you can't really get a good view of it anymore but if you look on the internet you will find some old photographs uh, where it does look a bit more like a tower but uh, this is one that um, yeah not much more we can say about this one for the sake of completeness only Clyburn Hall What's up, Rooks? Welcome back to All The Castles, the show where we visit all the castles in the UK. Today, we're here at Ascom Hall in the village of Ascom, located in Cumbria. It's a lovely place, it's just outside the Punch Bowl Inn, and um, it's a very quiet village. It's quite relaxing, you can a little bit of space to just think to yourself, you know? And, um... Unfortunately, we can't get up close because it's a holiday for filthy rich people. Well, hotel rather than holiday. But, um, you know, we will still try to get a good angle on the castle. Hello. Right, we'll try and be quick here because we're not really supposed to be here. This is Ascombe Hall. Uh, uh, this south end is the old part, which you can see is a Peel Tower and uh, it was built in either the 14th or the 15th century. There's a bit of debate about that. It passed through various hands until eventually ended up in the uh, Lowther family. And Lord Lowther actually moved in here for a while after um, the Lowther castle was abandoned. It's still owned by... Uh, members of the Lafa family but they've now converted it to a hotel restaurant and wedding venue and uh, prior to covid the gardens were open to the public and there was a cafe there but at the moment it's closed so that's why we've been a bit covert here and uh, i feel we're pushing it a bit i would have liked to have gone right to the front and had a look at the front of the tower but I think we're pushing our luck there a bit. Some parts of the north wing are also medieval but the rest of the hall is more 16th and century and is you know just domestic buildings rather than anything defensive. At the ground floor level there is still some medieval uh, barrel vaulting and you can, you can actually see there's quite a line uh, line at this gable between the uh, darker stone at the bottom 
and the uh, lighter stone which was added later so um perhaps one day we'll come back here and eat in the restaurant or even stay here but uh, don't feel uh, we can do any more really okay yeah this is just uh, where we can get a better view from the road uh, going through the village you can see uh, that I think the top windows are more likely to be original than the bigger ones